Foremost means more. More training, more information, more ways to grow your business. Find out what Foremost can mean for you at foremostagent.com. Click on Foremost means more. When Maurice Hank Greenberg was building American International Group into a global powerhouse, communication was not what it is today. So how does Greenberg, now CEO of Star Companies, view today's technology? Watch as he talks with Wells Media Group's Andy Simpson about this and other top challenges facing insurance CEOs. Years ago when you were building uh, AIG uh, to the international giant it became, communication wasn't what it is today, obviously. And I would have to imagine that even, even phone service was sort of questionable in most places. So how has technology changed how you conduct your business in your company? Well, you know, Technology is wonderful, and you can get things faster than you could before. You have video conferencing and all of that, like we have back here. Uh, but there's nothing like being seen on the ground. And I travel a great deal. I always traveled a great deal. It's not the number two they want to see, it's the number one. And that's the price you have to pay, and, if, and for some, some people look for every reason not to go. I don't do that. You lead from the front. So you still believe that personal contact? I absolutely do. Mm -hmm. How connected are you, technology? I mean, do you use a smartphone? Do you email? Do you Google I, for research? I, I never use email, ever. I use a cell phone, but I never use email. I personally. Could you tell uh, a little bit about your, your view of federal regulation? What, what role the federal regulation has in federal? Financial, federal regulation in insurance and financial services? You, you sort of criticized Dodd-Frank before, so I assume you think that's not the answer. Well, I don't know what Dodd-Frank is yet. You know, it's, a, it's an enormous, like a textbook. You know, all of the committees of Congress did not come in with reporting as to what happened um, in 2008 when, when we were having the, these critical issues. So we passed Dodd-Frank before we knew what really happened. That's like shooting and then aiming. You know, it's a little bit in reverse. And you know, I, I think that if you ask any of the people running financial services companies, they're concerned as to what Dodd Frank really means and the effect on their on their business and entity. Where around the world do you think regulatory uh, there are regulatory obstacles that are serious? Well, it's, it's happening all over. I mean, there's been certainly the pendulum has swung too far in one direction. Uh, I think the FSA in, in Europe is very, very difficult. Um, if you follow some of the regulations that are being considered and imposed beyond what they currently have, for insurance companies, the return on equity would be pitiful. And so obviously there's got to be some change. Otherwise, you're not going to have an insurance industry remaining. Is, is climate change something that you factor into your strategy? Well. There's climate change taking place, but you know, how much of it is man-made and how much is plain, na is plain nature, you know? Uh, we had an ice age in this, uh, in this planet uh, X billion or hundreds of years ago. Uh, is what we're seeing is a part of a new change in climate? Uh, is is man-made change that dramatic or is it a pitiful small amount of it? Uh, there's nobody can give you a straight answer on that. But it's currently, there is currently, uh, whether it's man-made or, or, or nature-made, uh, there is a change going on and you have to deal with it, not because the change is going to take place over a hundred years, it's what, what's happening now. What, in your opinion, is the biggest challenge facing property casualty CEOs today? Oh, a number of things. First of all, regulation is one, obviously. Uh, adequate pricing uh, on risk uh, and the inability um, to have uh, 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 all of these various organizations that try to predict um, catastrophes uh, they've all they've all been wrong nobody predicted sandy nobody pre nobody predicted all the floods in Thailand uh, or earthquakes you know, so you can do all the modeling you want, but modeling uh, by itself hasn't proven very much so far. 
you have this new book out all about your career and about the events around AIG. And I'm wondering, what, what is the main lesson you would like readers and our viewers to take from your career and this book? Well, I don't care so much about my career. That, that wasn't the, part, the point of writing the book. I think the point of writing the book, to me at least, uh, was what happened in the United States by an aggressive and now uh, disgraced attorney general. How one individual can help destroy a company that had a market value of $180 billion. How many pension funds suffered losses that were just you know, dramatic? How many employees lost their life savings or retired people for one individual who was seeking uh, to make a name for himself by taking down people? Not, a, not something you would expect in a country like the United States. I'd like to share with you a, uh, what I think is sort of an inspiring ode to insurance. Uh, you might recognize the source. It happens to be Star Company's own website. We are a global insurance organization that supports those who dare by putting our name on the bottom line in ink for the whole world to see. So the great achievers in our society actually achieve and build something better for all of us, the future. Mr. Greenberg, thank you for sharing your insights into the past and the future of insurance. Thank you very much.